friends, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play that I'm doing for The Sims 3. I'm not doing um, my regular Star Stable because I was unable to get on most of the weekend. Their servers were down, um, the host was doing something with them, hopefully improving them, working on them, whatever. It happens, but it gave me an opportunity to do something I have been wanting to do for a while, which is play The Sims! Woo! I was going to do a hotel challenge, but... After looking at houses online, I realized just how bad I am at designing my own. So my hotel was pretty ridiculous and it was taking forever to build and decorate. So I decided it might be more fun to do a perfect genetics challenge because then you guys could have more participation with naming the babies and stuff because there's going to be a lot. So I downloaded some houses. Uh, the rules of the challenge, which I'll post below, said that you're you're welcome to build whatever house you want, but I didn't want to go too fantastical to start. So I have this uh, kind of modest, but I th still think it's pretty big, uh, house. They called it something Canadian. It was, I don't know, a Manitoba house or something like that. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I don't remember now. Whatever. But it's a, a, a Canadian house and it looks kind of like an old farmhouse. It was fun. It was fun to decorate. I didn't change too much. I changed maybe some of the wallpapers um, inside. We'll be able to take a look soon. This is my founder. Her name is Azcadelia Ideal because let's zoom in. Uh, Azcadelia is the name I use for a lot of games and stuff and Ideal because it's the perfect genetics challenge. Oh dear. We jumped. It's hard to get her. She's behind this car. I gave her a fancy car. So she has bright blue hair and I'm not sure if you can really see it, but she has like bright pink eyes. I was hoping that would stand out enough so when she has babies and things we can see the bright pink right away. Um, and some custom content clothes and shoes. So yeah, I, I didn't decorate all the house yet. I didn't bother with the two extra bedrooms but I did her bedroom and the bathroom this was the wallpaper that it came with most of the house was this blue wallpaper and then you'll see the rest of the house this is the kitchen and the downstairs bathroom Whoosh. I like it from this view living room office and little entryway. I did a little decorating. Not a whole lot. I'm not good, great at it. You'll notice. <laughs> I don't often change the colors of things. I just kind of use preset. I'm used to The Sims 2 where you didn't, you weren't able to go in and change colors and fabric styles and things like that. Sometimes it's just too much. I did change the color of this wallpaper though. Anyway, that's about it. This is our modest little house. They were some, I downloaded some extraordinary houses, which I cannot wait to possibly move into in the future, but I didn't want to be overwhelmed at first. And I thought she might want to work her way up to that. So, I'm excited to get started. Let's open our Sims panel. Oh, there's her name. She had to have certain, uh, certain characteristics, so she's flirty, can't stand art, dislikes children, charismatic, and frugal. But I think I was able to pick her music, food, and color. And she's a Pisces. So they're kind of dual personalities. Anyway. Scrapbook. I only have the base game, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting, probably frustrating to some of you because there's a lot of stuff I cannot do. Which stinks, but pros is an additional challenge, I guess. So yeah, she's been paused. I'm excited to get started. Oh yeah, her lifetime wish is to be an international super spy. Dun, dun, dun. Which I don't think I've ever fulfilled anybody's lifetime wish, so we'll see how that goes. So she wants to be a police officer, which we'll probably do as soon as we can. Oh gosh, I hit play. I've been waiting for this, you guys. Uh, so she can meet people at work. Boom. Mm-hmm. She loves them roses. 
Because I cannot do, there's like a dating site or something like that for some people in one of the expansions. Let's see, she wants to be a police officer, which we will do. Sell a painting. She Oh, she doesn't want there to be artwork on the wall? I'm sorry. I did put a lot of artwork on the wall. I, I didn't realize. <laughs> Oh my god, the wine makes her sad. I bought the wrong kind. She's frugal, but she still has a bunch of money left over from when I was building the house. Let's let's not stress too much there, my friend. Now where are you going? Oh, she's gonna play some video games. Or she's gonna cry about it being there. Nope, she's gonna play them. That's good. Sports games, apparently. Pick you, pick you. So you'll notice I also don't have my camera on for this game. I normally do for Star Stable because I just have super serious Sims face the whole time I'm playing. <laughs> I get very intent on the Sims. Oh, there's the newspaper boy. Where'd you put the paper? Oh, thank you. Find a job, please. Anytime. I also just downloaded some new custom clothing that I might have her check out, so she might look completely different the next time you see this. Learn logic. We could do that. After you look for a job, my friend. These cupboards pose a- oh yes! First one! Excellent! Law enforcement! Accept career. Hooray! Throw party. I don't know anybody, but I want to celebrate my new job. Alright, let's read a book about logic. Where's the bookshelf? There's one here, there's one in here too. Read. Logic Volume 1. I wonder if that's what she needs for being a snitch. Probably not. But that's why I bought her a track machine. Track machine? Is that what they're called? <laughs> to run on? Because I knew she'd want to be a police officer. International spies need to be able to, to run pretty fast, I would say. What's this one? Go to the bookstore. We have some books right now, my friend. We're good. Where'd she go? Is that really the most comfy chair? Maybe she just likes to sit up at the counter. I put so many chairs in here! This couch looks mega comfy. Mega comfy. Well, maybe it's just bright in here. Oh well, let's speed her up. Nice! Lifetime rewards. Oh, they started 5,000. That's right. So I'm curious to know how you guys play. Do you generally micromanage your sims? Do you let them kind of do their own? I think my autonomy is set to highest, but I usually micromanage them. I'm not- I'm very reluctant because they tend to pee their pants a lot regardless of what you do. <laughs> Hooray! Ooh, flirt. Well, you gotta meet someone in order to flirt. You can stop doing that now. Let's use this fancy toilet that I downloaded. Yeah. 
and then cook something because being able to cook is important. We don't want to burn the house down. Ooh, mac and cheese is her favorite. Yay! She'll feel better about being surrounded by artwork. She's having her favorite food. Do I have two mailboxes? No, just one. I don't think I've ever had used a food processor before. Interesting. So I originally got this game, The Sims 3, when it came out, but at the time my computer struggled with it really bad. It ran terribly. Well, now you need to eat it, my friend. That'll learn ya. My computer struggled playing The Sims 3 really bad, so I stopped playing for a long time and only recently just started again because I finally was able to. So some stuff is still kind of new to me. I was, I played Sims 1 a whole lot and then I played tons of Sims 2 and that's when I got into downloading custom content and skins and all that good stuff. And I have a lot less now than I did when I played Sims 2. But it seriously amazes me at the talent some people who create custom content have. I hope that they understand there are jobs for you. You will be paid lots and lots of money for the beautiful things that you design in the future. I just think it's so cool. I love games that let you do that. Minecraft, Sims, anything that lets you add to the game and make it a more personalized experience. I think that's awesome. Well, at least she cleaned up after herself. Alright, go go do something now. Oh, maybe she should exercise. Oh, she does need more logic. Holy cow. Read. What is that? Play computer games. I guess she needs some fun. Where's the, I lost the computer room. <laughs> it's over here. Oh God, where did the chair go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was real worried for a second. Oh, what? What are you playing there, my friend? Some hardcore racing. Stop doing that. Mike, Mike. I don't think that was. That's her voice. That's weird. Oh, this room is too small. Oh, okay. I should probably go to bed. Or this way. See, I'm lost. If my house were any bigger than this, I I would be lost. Sleep. Because you have work tomorrow, I believe, at 9 a.m. I wonder if I should have gotten rid of some of her money. Oh, well. Okay, so I'll speed up her. Oh yeah, I, I did personalize her little nightgown. Yeah, go me. <laughs> I'll probably speed up her nighttime so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it. Alright, good morning. And what an early morning it is because it is 1am and I'm kind of mad that she woke up that early. I guess that's what happens when you go to bed early. Whoa! She did not make her bed. I don't make my bed either. I shouldn't even say anything. <laughs> uh. Alright, you shower and stuff, and then make some breakfast. 
Whoa. I guess that's what her hair looks like in the shower. <laughs> Waffles! Yes, it does. <laughs> So I picked her hair to be blue because blue is my favorite color and it's so hard in The Sims to design everything not blue. If I did, like just made everything how I wanted, the whole house would be blue. I have to actually try really hard to diversify <laughs> every Sims house that I'm building. It's really hard. Boom. The kitchen's okay. I was worried it wasn't gonna be lit enough. The house came with most of the lighting, which is cool. And I loved the floor. I did not replace the kitchen floor. That's the one it came with, and I loved it. It matches the yellow and blue windows very well. <laughs> I hope these waffles come out better than the mac and cheese. Oh, they did! They look delicious! I don't eat them! eat. Are you going to the table? Aww. Oh god, don't choke. Oh my goodness. Her hair is looking a little funky there. I guess that happens with custom, and yeah, because it's blue. <laughs> this part, the top looks lovely, but the back has a couple issues. Hmm. She's a neat. No, she's not neat. She's frugal. Okay, young lady. Oh, let's read some more of that logic book. Can we do that? Read? Whoosh. Another boring section. I'll probably end up fast forwarding or cutting out a lot of stuff when I edit. So you don't have to watch her sit here and study. Cause that's boring. Smart boys are where it's at. I did not even know what these things said. I knew there was a coffee cup. Sherlock Holmes. I would hang this caffeine poster in my house for real. Hooray! What's this? Buy a chess table. I'm sorry I forgot to get one when I was building the house. Sorry. Hey, what are you doing? Just sitting there? Sleep! Go play a video game. Oh god, her pajamas aren't loaded properly. There we go. <laughs> now you barely have time to read. I mean, read. Play a video game. And the chair is gone again. Now it's back. Well, take the carpool, I guess. Even though I would have liked to seen her drive the roadster. The car's okay, I guess. Go. Ready? Go. Where did she come from? Did she really go that way? Nova Scotia! I think that's what this house was. I just thought of it. I think it's a Nova Scotia house. Where are you going? Where are you going? That was weird. No, we're gonna chat with partner. Let's do that. 